Matt Barnes is firing shots from his NBA retirement chair. Hey everyone, welcome into the Fumble Studios. I'm your host, Jessica Wills. Stay up to date on all your favorite sports teams and athletes by clicking that subscribe button so you never miss a Fumble update. Shout out to all the former UCLA basketball players that are continuing to make headlines in the NBA over the last couple of days. Literally, Ariza storming the Clippers locker room, Aflalo swinging a massive punch, and the Ball brothers are always in the headlines, just to name a few. I like the fire, guys. Well, Matt Barnes is another fiery former UCLA player and now retired NBA player, and that feistiness did not leave him during retirement. He recently caught up with Mad Dog Sports Radio and had a lot to get off of his chest. Matt Barnes had this to say about former Clipper teammate Austin Barnes. Take a listen. To see him coming after Austin, not surprising. You know, Austin kind of rubs people the wrong way, talks a lot of trash, and, and, and doesn't let me back it up. I think people are probably tired of that. This, of course, was in reaction to what happened on Monday night when the Houston Rockets played the Clippers in Los Angeles. And after the game, Rocket players James Harden, Chris Paul, and Trevor Ariza stormed the Clippers' locker room to confront some of the Clippers' players. According to ESPN, Austin Rivers was one of the players at the heart of that situation that the Houston players wanted to confront because he was talking so much trash from the bench during the game. And due to injury, Austin was never going to see the court at any point during that game. In fact, he was in his street clothes on the bench. Barnes went on to say that Ariza is not someone who's going to let that type of trash talking fly. And Barnes could understand why other players would want to shut Rivers down. Speaking of his former teammate, Matt said Austin carries himself like a 10-time all-star, and he's not that. And that kind of arrogance rubs you the wrong way. Which brings me to my fumble question of the day. What was something that sent you over the edge that someone said to you in competition and what did you do? Do you guys lead with trash talking as one of your primary game plans? Let me know your stories in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out with us here at The Fumble. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment before you go, and we'll see you next time.